So what is the formal approach? You start with a big picture, tell your scope and importance, followed by the challenges in your research field. To do that, in order to justify that, you need a list of all the relevant earlier works, which is called state of the art. Then you summarize the earlier limitations. Sometimes these are entangled. Then you narrow down the knowledge gaps, the targets of your research, and further down to the focus of your work. I'm going to choose this article as an example. This article was written by professors and researchers in Cambridge University in UK by collaboration with people in California, University of California in the United States. Okay. I use this example, I choose this example because you can see that they are the one who speak English, UK and the United States. They are the authentic English speakers. One is called British English, another one is called American English. The first paragraph written like this, aerosol particles are important. I'm going to quickly flash through this. Okay, this is how it looks like. The second paragraph talks about analysis. I'm going to show you only the first sentences. The first sentence, which is the outline sentence. Aerosol particles are important components of the atmosphere and strongly influence the Earth's climate. By something, this is a big picture. How big? It affects atmosphere and the earth climate. Okay. Remember, this paper is about aerosol particles in the outdoor air. It sounds like so big. How can that matter to the atmosphere or the earth climate? Okay. Actually, that's how English articles are written. You want to tell people how important your work is. It is so important that it matters to everyone on the planet Earth. Why? Because everyone is affected by atmosphere and the climate. Okay. The second and the third paragraph says the analysis and organic fraction. So now it's further narrowed down, right? Now we are talking about the field. You are talking about organic aerosol now. Okay, so this is the big picture. This is your field. Okay, and for further narrow down to analytical techniques, you mentioned the need. See, need to be done. Okay, that's the word. Then you further narrow down to the relative work by the relative earlier works, for example, you start with there are a number of techniques, okay? You are working on this area, doesn't mean nobody else did it. But in fact, as an engineer, you will know that everything has been explored by researchers. If not an engineer, it must be a scientist in science area, okay? So do not say nobody did this. That's what the literature review is for, right? Literature review, review the existing work, okay? But you want to criticize the limitations of early work. That's what the however is for. However, such measurements are demanding with respect to manpower and other resources. Does that make sense? So which means they have limitations. Similarly, you find consumer and the rotating drum then is the only collected. The recent development, you keep saying that, you mentioned, but, okay, but there is a problem. 
have not yet been described in literature. Okay, so then you have earlier limitations mentioned, earlier works mentioned. You summarize this, then there is a knowledge gap. So if you put them all together, these three can be mixed together. Then you narrow down for this study, for the first time to characterize organic component, to observe something that tells you your objective. Okay, remember each sentence appears in the outline. I'm going to use another example. Okay. That's his first paragraph or the first sentence in the outline. He wrote, this thing I'm battery is an important energy storage and transmission technology in a modern society. A focus on the society okay, is important to the society. Okay? But later on, you will see whatever he did is only a piece, a drop of the ocean in this whole field. Okay? But it matters to the society. Then he narrowed down the challenge are introducing the, the battery elements includes cathode, anode, electrolytes, and a separator. Then he focused on the numerous researchers that have studied something. Okay, if you are working on the literature review, there must be somebody else did it, and actually numerous. Meanwhile, many experimental studies, but you also want to criticize this by saying, however, however, that's a criticize. Okay? Relevant work tells you numerous. And then you summarize, on the other hand, that's the knowledge gap, which means usually the limitations come up. On the other hand, earlier models are mainly focused on this, there is a lack of fundamental work. So that's the knowledge gap. Which tells you there is a knowledge gap. These are usually merged together. Okay. Then you lead to your objective. This paper is about something. Okay, that's how you introduce your work. All these sentences are in the outline. You can see that. Outline tells you how your ideas flow. 